It's our training. That was the first kill. You actually killed me. I may be a weirdo, but this is my year, yo. My life may be crazy. My lack of the lazy has let me do shit that I love on the daily. Daily. Good morning, vegan savages. I'm in the middle of just a deep cleanse. Is it clean? Cleanliness? Just cleaning my kitchen, that's what I do and I just wanna show you what spices I'm currently making. I just refilled my spices and I'm currently making my own spice. First, let's close the window, let's say good morning. If you're new here, I share my excited, weird, healthy, funny, non-judgmental, vegan life that on a daily basis. I do daily vlogs here, so just tickle that subscribe button and you're in for a ride where you see me, what I do on a daily, like now, cleaning up my kitchen. Why the heck am I not in the gym? Because today I'm actually going in the evening to the gym, something I basically never do. But Phil, he was like, whoa, bro, I'm always training at the top. And then when the sun goes down, there's like this golden light. It would be an epic training. We should train together, make amazing B-roll. So we will do that with Phil, Philip and Benny at 6.30. So that would be weird. I'm so used to training in the morning, maybe around noon or early afternoon, but in the evening, that will be quite an adventure, but first. We got a lot of stuff to do, so I wanted to show you. I just cleaned my kitchen. I mean, I'm in the middle of the process. I refilled the spices I have and labeled them. Smoked paprika, bag on steak, cinnamon, and now we have gingerbread. Yeah, I have this device. And I was making gingerbread and was a bit out of, like, out of line. The, the eye and the bread is like up and down. And I was like, should I make a new one or should I keep it? And I was like, I keep it because that is the perfect metaphor that perfection doesn't exist. Perfection is in the eye of the beholder, does it subjective and it's a true illusion. So imperfection is what makes it perfect. What do you mean? You know nothing. That's why I kept it. And I think it just looks pretty. Gingerbread. And that is actually a pre-mixture, but now I'm mixing my own. And because I'm going to this amazing page, it's called V Gains Food. I highly recommend it. Go follow it. Wait, why is your promote? Am I locked in? Oh, I guess it's my channel. <laughs> Pumpkin pie spice. Three tablespoons cinnamon, one teaspoon clove, one and a half teaspoon allspice, two teaspoon nutmeg and two teaspoon ginger. All right, I got the cinnamon in here. Now I add all the rest. Fortunately, I have spices in bulk and I'm also cleaning my spice section. I told you I make a deep cleanse. Just everything. I get even rid of stuff, even more minimalist here. There will only be my water filter. Here, that looks super nice and clean. While listening to a great podcast, currently listening to the Chorogan Experience with Graham Hancock. And he's at the Chorogan Experience again. And let me show you what else I've listened to because I've been in the kitchen for a while. Also listened to this one from Sam Harris about Facebook. That was super interesting. And this one, Mr. Beast at H3 Podcast. One and a half hours later, I made good progress. The kitchen is about done. It is just all so clean here. All my spices, which I buy in bulk, other stuff I buy in bulk, other stuff I have in bulk, and that is all empty. We have now so much empty space that is empty, and that is, in fact, all em Let me double check. Empty, empty. Oh well, that is almost empty because there's my juicer and I just love to keep a bit of packaging. Empty packaging I got in case I need to send something back. I have them handy. And those cutting boards for meat eaters who will potentially live here if I rent the place out via Airbnb again. And that is all empty because empty space is beautiful space. So now I need a girlfriend. She can move in here. I have so much space and then she can put all her stuff there. Here are more staples. I refilled also my staples over here. That looks just so neat. Oh, 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 I love my kitchen so, 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 so much. Also here, well, everything is now on point. 
My kitchen, I just love it so much. You're like, oh, half your kitchen is empty, but you see how much storage I have? That is just insane. Most kitchens are like, until here, and not even that. They often don't even have an island, so just that. But I have an island and all the space. That's why there's so much empty space, because I'm a minimalist and I just don't need so much space, but it's great to have. Because maybe in the future someone else is living here, who knows? So it's just great to have lots of space. And even though I have so many things in bulk, the kitchen remains still so empty. Oh, I also cleaned up the... I just clean up everything! I'm such a boyfriend material! Yeah, yeah, I just knock at my door, my address is... You could find it out so easily because I just always show you the outside of my window. So it's quite easy to figure out. Anyway, I'm gonna shower now, I'm gonna shave and then I'm gonna meet up with Nico because today is Wednesday and we have our usual date. Besides, we don't train together, but we're gonna go for food, table tennis and ask Nico. Hey Nico, see you soon. You wanna hop in the shower with me? No? Okay. okay. Shaved, showered and now we're at the restaurant waiting for Nico. He's always too late. We're not at Pokeball where we, you, well, what you say. where we usually go after the gym, but it's not after the gym because we didn't train. So we went to the closest restaurant, which is not entirely vegan, but super vegan friendly. It's even in the name H2 Be Veggie and Nico lives right there. So let's see if it delivers. Age to veggie, what do you say? I like it, it's close to my place. I cannot hate. Age to veggie, yay or nay? Yes. Benny, age to veggie? Yes. Uh, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10? Ooh. I really like the food, but the portions were a bit too small for my taste. And portion is a huge one for me, so I prefer the Pokeball. And also, the Pokeball, we have the luxury we don't really need to pay, thanks to the app Freechly, and there we need to pay. But the name is cool though. I was like H2 Veggie, what could it mean? I asked H2 Nico. H2 V Veggie, yeah, now it makes sense because <laughs> H, the letter, I was like, what does it stand for? But H, like H to be Veggie. You get it? That's smart because it is the H to be Veggie. When you should be Veggie? Now. So that makes lots of sense. Now we enjoy the sun. Play some table tennis. I just beat it, this and little I cutie. That, and I think that the name of the owner starts with an H. On my way to the closest bike shop to get my flat tires fixed because Vegan savages, they do make their own luck, but that also implies to pay other to make your own luck. And in a non-sexual way, or do whatever you want, freedom is your birthright. Bro, what are you talking about, man? I just pay people who fix my tire. That's all I'm saying. I don't get any prostitutes. Well, I'm out, man. I think it's tripping. Dear little Sean Bikes, now it's up to you. Please fix my bicycle. That is a conscious commercial, that's what I love to see because reduce, reuse, recycle and how we pollute our ocean, that is just so not cool. Because trash is never gone, it always ends up somewhere and most likely that is the ocean. So it's all about reduce, reuse, recycle, refuse, rot, repair, ref, rebel and watch the gains every day at 6pm Central European time. What? Did I just brainwash you? If I could enforce a law, it would be that everyone is forced. 6 p.m. Central European time. Watching the games. <laughs> Always. Eat your girl. Back up. Hey, oh. finally here. What are you doing in my apartment? I thought you gave me the wig earlier, like. You know? So I thought I came by. Uh, that's true, but I didn't want to block that. Oh, oh. I oh, can't stand like this anymore. No, bro, seriously, what are you doing here? Um, no, seriously, seriously, or? <laughs> no, seriously, seriously, seriously. Okay, what the f are you doing here? I'm working. I have a serious question. It's even a philosophical question, I would say. Are you ready? Yeah, of course not. Okay, and I want a yes or no answer. Because I moved you my... You want the yes or no answer for a philosophical question? Yes. What's wrong with you? <laughs> because I moved my treadmill desk over here and my ping pong table in front. Now the question is, in this room with the treadmill desk, can we still play ping pong? I don't think that's a philosophical question at all. How about, well, let's just try it! First, let's try to play the way we used to play. 
What other way would there be? There is actually a way, but it's involves some dark magic shit. I'd rather stay away from, but when it comes to playing ping pong or not, I would be committing some dark magic shit. So let's first see. I mean, you play like this and then you're like, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, I just wanna play. I think it's playable because when we move it more to the other side, like this. Yeah, let's give it a try. Do you have enough space? Yeah. I mean, I have uh, enough space. Not for this. Beat your ass. Totally, it's totally playable. And now, you wanna know what the other dark magic shit way would be? Yeah, sure. Actually, I don't even wanna say it, but we could remove those pellets and then we could play this way, you know? And then we would have for sure enough space. Yeah. But it would be a hassle to always remove, um, just remove the two pellets and then put them back, so this is actually much easier and still playable. So, my treadmill desk can remain here and I can just move my ping pong table in front of the door and back here and play with my homies. Can you feel the tension? It is 9 to 9, a game goes until 11, unless we both have 10 points, then you have to win two separate, so 10 to 12. So now, who will bring home this game? Because actually against Benny I haven't won in a while, <laughs> and now, beating savages. They do make their own luck, but what if two vegan savages want to make their own luck? What will happen? <laughs> <laughs> 10 to 9, and then more luck. And I lost. Fuck this game! Play against yourself. I think it means you're the true vegan savage. Yes. Here's my YouTube channel, here's my soul, here's my life, here's my girlfriend. Wait, I have no girlfriend. Just take it. Vegan savages are here and bro, I got the golden book for you. There are the gains in it. The secret training plan that leads to... Steroids plans, yeah? No, that's actually his calendar. Because he doesn't know how to use a phone for your calendar. So you put the shirt over it? No wonder you sweat. Why don't you wear the shirt and then when you want to wear a tank, you just switch them. That's how I do it. Because then I'm sweating a lot and I'm also representing... Uh, you just look bigger. <laughs> Admit it. Okay. So what is the what is the plan? We do my training. You join or you do your training. You do your upper body training and you join us or you do your upper body training. Oh yes, because Philip is old school bodybuilder. He already was at the gym, right? Yeah. So he already oh. trained your legs. Yeah. Why did you do that? Why didn't you just come a bit earlier here? No, because it's too stressful because I went to my uh, grandmother, to oh. my granny. And, uh, granny. Did you take a nap afterwards that your nervous system is on point? No. Oh. <laughs> you want a coffee? <laughs> Only matcha, please. It's better Kay. for my brain. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's much, right? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. That is so cool. So you don't even need to remember your number. Oh, how does it work? Because I wear two. Yeah. But you see that? No, now it's a different number because I wear two. But you don't have to remember your number. That is so cool. That is the future. Would you like to have that at home or a Tesla? That, of course. Yeah, because it's so cute. Yeah. Do we take the stairs or the elevator? Uh, the stairs. Uh, okay. <gasps> so, uh, training was amazing. We trained legs, 20 stairs, one rep max. Whew. Are you also done? Uh, no. Benny was so kind to give me EAAs. So EAAs is like BCAAs, but all essential amino acids combined. And she said, the first time you tasted them, you were almost throwing, throwing up. Yeah. And there was a fact that was not exaggerating, so let's give them a try. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I mean, super artificial, <laughs> but not bad. Yeah, yeah. It's good. What are you drinking? Vegan stuff. Vegan H2. Oh. What? H2O? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why do you talk so slowly? <laughs> anyway, we are in the gold area, meaning we have it all for ourselves. And the golden hour is approaching. The sun is coming down. And we're just gonna crush it. We just, I just spit it like crazy. I'm sorry. We're just gonna crush it. We're just gonna train like crazy. And it's upper body training. So let's start with bench press. Is there only one bench press? So we're gonna share? We're gonna share everything. Is that steroids? But it's vegan, right? Testosterone vegan. 
So much? Testosterone from no, honestly, avocado. What is this? EAA, man. EAA? EAA? Yeah. Do you need supplements to build muscle? No, you only need this. plants, no supplements. Yeah. No, plants. plants and vegan savage merch, right? Yeah. <laughs> Feeding my addiction, sugar, water, I need ya. <laughs> Trying a new one, maracuya. Mm. Bro, I gotcha. Thanks, man. What can I offer you? How about? No, 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 maracuya. But maybe give it a try okay, first. Okay. It's nice. Yeah. This gym is a bit weird. There are different flavors in different levels. There are different machines in different levels, even though they are machines in another level. So they're not next to each other, but in different levels. So am I different in every level? <laughs> what kind of machine is that? That's actually cool because it is a... Extensions. Beautiful, it's a stretching area. Stretch. So, what kind of stretches can you do there, besides looking super pretty? There's a, a piece missing. You, you can't stretch um, it actually. Bro, actually, I cannot stretch here because it is way too low. I'm just too tall for the world. And what about here? It's on the floor. Oh, nice. Because it's so passive and you have to do nothing. So the secret is to fall asleep like that. Yeah. And then overnight, your spine will just neutralize itself. And you walk like this. <laughs> yeah. And there it is. The golden light. What yeah. would be a fun... Why? You're afraid of heights? Yeah, but what would be a fun vlog, it would be crazy, to jump on this, from there, on this, and from there, on this, and then to this level. And I know who's perfect for the job. You're the youngest, you're super flexible, you're good at ping pong, you're handsome, your <laughs> life is not that valuable. <laughs> just kidding. So just, so, just do it, bro. For the vegan savages. What do you have to lose besides your life? Nothing, so go. What do you need to gain? You have... Uh, so, no, I gained him. I gained a subscriber. But ah. you gain my respect. Dude, don't they have that already? No, absolutely Why not? not. Because... Just do it. You think you would hold me? <laughs> no, but it would be so fun. It would fall and you would like... Oh like when it's falling I could jump on the Yes, the exactly. So you're good. On account on three, okay? Three, two, one. Philip was like, you have a hole in your shoe. I was like, uh, what? I never realized that. And it is actually a big hole, so it's like you have a shoe around it. And you hole. see it's getting bigger and bigger. I look do like oh no. So anyway, these shoes I just tested them in the video up here. They were just 30 something euro so super cheap and they were actually they lasted for bali and los angeles so i think i will get them again you have shoes for like two trips and you call them but what do you durable? but 30 euros yeah so why don't you get one for like a hundred and have them a couple of years yeah and that's so much smarter because it's all about reuse reduce recycle uh, so i won't get them again and i just stick with my vivo lives you just convinced me but then I only have one pair of shoes. Isn't that too little? Too little, too less. But bro, too few. Too something. Reduce, reuse, recycle, or repair. Repair? Okay, I show you. I show you how I repair them. Like this? Uh, is it reverse engineering? Bro, that is f***ed up. Or is it style? What is it? Now they're airy, you know? Yeah, it's yeah. perfect for the summer. <laughs> How amazing does the temperatures feel? Oh, so great. Would you like to end the vlog? Mm. I see you tomorrow because I oh. upload 
every single day. Romeo and en enthusiasm. It was so much. Every single day. Peace. Eat your chickpea, Sonny. Wear your helmet. Don't take me as your role model when it comes to that. Yo, I should get better at that. You don't even own a helmet. You do crazy stuff like that. Yeah. Wicked. Wicked. Okay, say peace out. Peace out. Awkward handshake. Bro, what? Oh, oh! That was the first kiss! You actually kissed me! Ah. And he just leaves me. I... <laughs> actually, yesterday, I watched Brokeback Mountain. I know. Alone, single, by myself. Why do I watch something like that? Actually, let's not talk about it now, but let's talk about it tomorrow because the movie was actually super great and I want to elaborate on that, but we do it tomorrow. That's why I see you here tomorrow. Little cliffhanger. <gasps> Peace. If you check peace, I already said that. I love you. Peace. Ow. <laughs> You're good, bro. <laughs>